A Course in Miracles Workbook Lesson 81 Review of Lessons 61 and 62 Begin the day by thinking about the two ideas for today and the comments that are included. Devote some three or four minutes to listening or reading them over slowly, perhaps several times, and then close your eyes and listen. There is a message waiting for you. Be confident that you will receive it. Remember that it belongs to you and that you want it. Now, devote the next several minutes to reading or listening to the two ideas, several times over if you wish. From Lesson 61, I am the light of the world. How holy am I who have been given the function of lighting up the world? Let me be still before my holiness. In its calm light, let all my conflicts disappear. In its peace, let me remember who I am. Some specific forms for applying this idea when special difficulties seem to arise might be Let me not obscure the light of the world in me. Let the light of the world shine through this appearance. This shadow will vanish before the light. From Lesson 62 Forgiveness is my function as the light of the world. It is through accepting my function that I will see the light in me, and in this light will my function stand clear and perfectly unambiguous before my sight. My acceptance does not depend on my recognizing what my function is, for I do not yet understand forgiveness. Yet I will trust that in the light, I will see it as it is. Specific forms for using this idea might include, let this help me learn what forgiveness means. Let me not separate my function from my will. I will not use this for an alien purpose. It is recommended to listen to these two ideas again before continuing. Now close your eyes and listen. Repeat the first phase of the exercise period if you find your mind wandering, but try to spend the rest of this practice period listening quietly but attentively.
Okay. This concludes lesson 81. Regard these practice periods as dedications to the way, the truth, and the life. Refuse to be sidetracked into detours, illusions, and thoughts of death. You are dedicated to salvation. Be determined each day not to leave your function unfulfilled. Reaffirm your dedication in the shorter practice periods. The early part of the day should be devoted to one of these two ideas, and the latter part of the day devoted to the other. Use the original form of the idea for general applications, and more specific forms as needed. Some specific forms are included in the comments which follow the statements of the ideas. These, however, are merely suggestions. It is not the particular words you use that matter. <laughs>